This is a video on the QT Pro 2 software. This is the 950 edition. The first thing you see when you open up the program is the login screen. And the default login is Vitrec Full User, written as all one word, and each word is capitalized. The default password is Vitrec with a capital V. And so you log in and then you'll see this right here that says you edit user list. So when you come to the user list you want to have an administrative user which we're just going to call admin. You can name it anything you wish and then a password is going to be in here. We're just going to use one two three. You can use any password that you prefer. Over here we're going to choose this as an admin user. Now this is important because the admin user can edit this list of the usernames and so forth. Then we're going to put in user1. You can call this anything you wish. And then we'll use a password here, 456. We want this to be a normal user, which means that you can edit the programs and the functions of the unit, but you cannot edit this, this list. And then we have an option for a third type of user, and we'll make this user 2. We'll make their password 789. Again, you can make it anything you wish. And this is a run-only user, which means you can run tests, but you cannot edit the tests, so they can't change them accidentally. Once you have that in there, you want to save this user list and we're going to save this in the QT Pro folder just so we know where it is. And it already exists on my computer, so I'm just going to tell it yes, replace it. And now we've got our user list for accessing the program. Then you go to System Configure. In this case, we're going to be using RS-232. However, you also have the option for the GPIB. If your uh, unit is equipped with that, that is an optional uh, connection on the on the Vitrec 950 series. The RS-232 comes standard and so does the Ethernet. You can choose Ethernet and put your address in here and communicate with it through the Ethernet. In this case we're going to be using the RS-232 and we're going to be on the COM1. We're going to be using the standard uh, 150200 BUD and the delay is not important to change unless it's not working properly. 10 milliseconds is the default on that. That works in most cases. This down here will be for switch units if you have any on the unit, which will be covered in other videos. Once you have that configuration chosen, you want to also save this as a different file. Now in this, place, this case, we're just going to call it QT Pro 950. The next thing is your test sequence. And when you first come in here, this area down here is going to be blank until you click on New. That's going to be a new step in your test. We're on step one. In this case, the default is DCW, which is a DC withstand high pot test. It's set for 1,000 volts is your default. A one second ramp, you can also choose to do it in volts per second if that's what you would like. Your dwell is how long it's going to stay at that particular voltage once it gets there. And your test delay, what that does is it delays the, the enforcement of the test for a second or two, depending on uh, if you give, give it time to settle. Your discharge, there's three different choices. None would be if you want to do multiple steps. Uh, fast is the normal default, which is a fast discharge at the end, or you can have it as ramp, which means it will uh, descend at the end at the same rate that it was ramped at the beginning. We're going to leave it at fast. The breakdown you can set here. You have your leakage limits which is in this case 0 to 10 milliamps. Uh, again, this is going to depend on your requirements. Arc settings are optional. You can put that in there if you wish. The DUT grounded, device under test grounded, that would be only on units that have the high side sense option. 
And then continue the sequence on fail would mean if you have multiple steps is that it's going to go ahead and go to the next steps even on failures. And then it will let you know that at the end of the test. If you would like, you can add another step to this test. In this case, we're going to add a new step. Now this says number two. And we're going to change that. We're going to put in an AC test. And you can change the voltage here. We're going to make this one 1500. We'll give it a three second ramp. And then we'll, we'll give this a dwell of, uh, let's say, five seconds. Again, we're going to discharge fast. We're going to keep our default limits here. And then you want to save this as a test uh, to be able to recall it at a later time. We're just going to call it test one or whatever you'd like to call it. That way you can recall the test if you have more than one test series available you can just choose the test by changing the directory. Once we have that saved we can run the test. In this case we're going to run those two tests that we have right here. This is connected right now to a 953 tester and this is the 1000 volt test at DC and then it automatically switches over to AC and runs that test and then when it's all finished it will give you the option of saving it as a report and when it saves the report you can save it as manual or you can uh, print it uh, to a printer. This concludes the basic operation of the QT Pro 2 950 version of QuickTest by Vitrack.